The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? It feels like life. Ah, it's better, it's better with you. My life. Ah, it's better, it's better with you. This is true. Ah, it's better, it's better with two. My life. Ah, it's better with you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to My Brother, My Brother, Mean Advice Show for the Modern Era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. And I'm the sweet baby brother, Griffin Andrew McElroy. Let me just get ahead of it. Let me get ahead of it. I watched the first episode. I okay. watched the first episode of yes. Man vs. B. Okay. It was harrowing, is the word I would use. I was made certain assurances that we would not need to talk about Man vs. No, but I also now. don't want people, now what I've run into because uh, of the blast on which I was put, that yeah, yeah. In, uh, in my life, uh, social media, in streaming, in everything I've done, if I in mentioned- your bed, In your bedroom. In, in your my boudoir. bedroom, my wife, my children, my dog, your all of them. Your when I'm talking to my priest, uh, my spiritual guidance, uh, my yogi, when I'm talking to my yogi bear, when I'm talking to them, you gotta watch the movie, <laughs> boo boo. And I say, I've done, I did this today. They're like, you should have been watching Man vs. B. And I'm like, okay, I did it now. I yeah. did it now. Never again. So here's the issue, Trav, is you're getting Man vs. B 1.1. Um, there were a lot of complaints registered toward Netflix with some of the gratuitous male and B nudity yeah, I didn't uh, in the original cut. And so as they are wont to do, what with this streaming era and the death of art, they went in and just took all that stuff out. So you know how the episodes are like 20 minutes long? Yeah. They used to be like 35, 40, and you were getting a good 15 to 20 minutes of Man and be nudity. Well, Sometimes Griffin, the same I actually time. anticipated that because okay. I know of Netflix's rampant censorship. And yeah. so I actually watched it in 90 second chunks on Daily Motion. Um, I just is, I found a playlist. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, I found a playlist and I just watched it that way. Now, there were a couple chunks missing, which frankly made it incoherent. But other than uh, yeah. that, Obviously, I dipped into Daily Motion for those clips for my own uh, purposes. Yeah. And my net nanny was like, eh, well, you can, we'll let this one go. They're like, it's <laughs> Mr. They were like, it's Mr. Bean. Like, yeah. there's no erotic value. It, it auto blurred out the bees huge ding along. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is understandable, but they were like, it's Mr. Bean's dick and his balls and butthole. It's educational. Um, and it's edu it serves an educational purpose yeah. at that point. Now, see, that's um, what I, I actually noticed, Griffin, that my net nanny was a little too lenient as well, which is why I hired a real life nanny to stand over my shoulder while I looked at stuff, <laughs> specifically okay. Man vs. B. I got a Mary yeah. Poppins-esque, like, no, 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 Mr. Bean's dick today, Master Travis. <laughs> Um, and so, is that what, is that I was watching it too much, apparently, and it was affecting my relationship with my kids. Yeah, so she said, you must go happen. outside and get some vitamin D. And I said, I'm getting all the vitamin D I need right here. And she said, no, no, Master <laughs> Travis, you must step outside. I I just want them to release the Snyder Cut of Man vs. B. <laughs> and by that, I mean Greg Snyder, who was yeah. the on-set intimacy consultant <laughs> for Man the Man and the B. B. Anytime that there was exposure happening like the scene where the bee climbs inside of his his mr bean's penis yeah um i want to see he worked hard on that like well, he yeah had to coach, i mean he had to me, coach both of them through that and it was probably pretty painful and 
humiliating. And it's wild to me that they made such a progressive step to hire an intimacy coordinator, which everyone should do. But yeah. then also the rest of it exists. And so yeah. that was that was d- difficult to me. I watched the Snyder cut of Justice League. And okay. my big oh, thing there was- it's going to be was, fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> Brace your asses, everyone. There is just so many scenes of people eating chips that it got to a point where- <laughs> Oh, I, I get like, it, because Snyder's is a chip brand, which I think might only manufacture chips in Huntington, <laughs> West Virginia. a regional yeah. thing. They use peanut oil. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Take that. Enough said. Enough <laughs> said there. Appreciate that. Um, this is an advice show. Obviously. Uh, where we take your questions and turn them alchemy like into wisdom. I feel like it's been a hundred and fifty years since we've recorded one of these. Well, and we yeah, should also note that Griffin the 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 Griffin decided to move. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like uh, a real dingus. So like yesterday. Be... Just real hair up my ass sort of stuff where I was like, I'm gonna uproot my entire family and uh relocate to the to the beast. Well, coast. most of your family. You're having them <laughs> compete to see <laughs> who right. would be left behind uh, to make a new life in Austin. You don't want to cede all that territory, is yeah. the no. problem. So you you want to leave a man in Kamchatka, as it as it were. It is kind of our southern HQ, Griffin, which I am uh I I feel like I covered the Midwest HQ for a while. Yeah. Um and and now I feel like you're kind of encroaching a bit. On my territory, which I'm not wild about. I All do. Right, well, fight, I, I do fi- uh, appreciate that we can finally make it permanent. Our absolute denial of other time zones. Yes. Yes. Thank you. If you don't know about this, this little fact of ours, uh, we have people on on our our team all throughout the country, and if any of them mention any time zones other than Eastern Standard Time, we refuse to acknowledge. Like we can't process it. Yeah. It's yeah. Like ask me again. In the in a real time zone, because if you talk about another one, and we've been doing this with Griffin, like, yeah, Griffin has had to pretend that he does not live outside the Eastern time zone. Occasionally, Griffin uh, will be like, "Oh, we can start at 11. and I'm like, "It's already eleven, Griffin. It's already eleven. What, do you what mean? are you talking about? Uh, yeah, we're like flat earthers, but for like a very specific sort of latitude range. Yeah, and I'm just saying, like daylight savings time. Who's saving it? And give me some back. You know what I mean? I, I want some of that. <laughs> and that's some of Travis's whole deal. Um, that's my hey, thing about time. Let's do let's do questions because okay, it's okay. going to be a while before I do questions again. And I, 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 I mean, we are about to do like three live shows in, in a row. But that's oh, you're yeah. right. We're about to have, be doing too many questions. But still, my hunger must be sated. Yeah. Whenever I go to someone else's house, even my best friends, I hate staying the night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not yeah, your stuff's not there. Yeah, yeah your, your stuff's, stuff's not there. Your it's house. not where your bed is. It's not the air you like. I'm not able to sleep, always in a cold sweat and wake up feeling gross. I'm happy to be with my friends. So what can I do enjoy waking up within the next morning? That's from anxiously awake in Alabama and you can't. You, you can, can go yeah. home and then come back before they wake up and then you're like, "Whoa, right there. Oh, I was scared the whole time too, guys." That yeah. there's that sleepover the the sort of like logistics of sleepovers that math changes once you are sort of uh independent and can drive because i would much rather i'll kick it with you until the wee hours and then when it's time for sleeping in a bed i have my own that i have been sort of nestling into fucking hard for a long time now um and that is dangerous what about the dangers of driving in the evening Oh, what time do you go to bed, Justin? Because I'm heading home at like nine o'clock. Yeah, During the summer, nine, it's not even dark yet. Griffin yeah. said the wee hours, so I I was I, that. I meant nine to nine thirty. Uh, nine um, to nine thirty. Between nine and that's 9:30. when I come home and uh, me and Rachel play Wii together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we play we play competitive, very competitive boom blocks till we work up a nice sweat, and then we instantly go to sleep. The amount of props I need to sleep mm-hmm. mm. when I travel is truly i mean it's truly toddler level it's like we need i need i need the log pillow i yeah. need my wrist uh brace for my carpal tunnel syndrome yeah. uh-huh. i need my uh special uh eye mask that has the headphones built into it so i can whoa listen whoa to everyone it. back off he's married no 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 no, no. <laughs> i know right i, I just, can't believe I- that the, the the fact that there is no Sort of like well known Mabim Bam mythos about your log pillow, which is yeah. a, a what a bean filled 
It's a uh, micro, micro, what do you call that? Micro fill, like a. It's yeah, like a beanbag like, bean filled with Justin's farts. <laughs> and then he carries it like, but like draped over a, usually a strap of his backpack, turning it into the brawniest nut sack <laughs> that you have ever seen. And he walks through the air, every airport like that. And there's kids around and they, and they seen it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. What do you want me to say here? Uh, um, you I introduced this apology? topic, by the way. We didn't make you bring up the log pillow. You brought I'm up the log pillow. Yeah, I mean, I have prop. I'm just saying I have props. And if I don't have them, I can't sleep. I've tried other things. I've in in hotel rooms. I've gotten desperate and wadded up towels into kind of a it's log shape. Nothing We've all doing. been there. We've all been there. Yeah. Wadded up a hoodie, you know, to try to make it. No, no, nothing and doing. Doesn't work. It's not just bedroom prop. When I'm away from my favorite toilet, <laughs> my toilet buddy that I know, like I know, him, I know how he works. I know his whole <laughs> I know. deal. You know right. how he likes to be. Yeah. I know where I know where I like to look for the tough moments. You know what I mean? Like I know <laughs> the point on the wall that I'm making eye contact. Contact with when I'm struggling, like I you know, know you've, you know where you've uh, etched your Vince Lombardi quotes. <laughs> <up> there, <laughs> exactly, <when> you, yes. <laughs> you for when times most. get tough, I know exactly, right. and I know where the tally marks are for every successful completion. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you know hey, what Trev, I'm talking. And by the way, I was at your house the other day, and there's only six. <laughs> Yeah, man. Why do you think I need so many motivational quotes? <laughs> it's tough out there. Okay, I right. don't eat fiber. Yeah, you I know that about you. I you just eat cheese. Yeah. You can't get a good night's sleep at someone else's house. You can't, can't that, be done. There is a certain point of, like, there's a reason why. I think maybe. Oh, I have a rectangle pillow. Yes. Well, yeah. It's yeah, a dude. cube. Oh. A pillow right. cube. Wait. What? Yeah. It's a pillow cube, and I can't sleep without that either. It's sure. a cube-shaped pillow. Where does it go? Where does the cube go? <laughs> well... Supporting this beautiful thinker right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right underneath the old no- noggin. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. I've searched high and low. Do you know how many pillows I've I've had to shove down on my garbage disposal because they didn't give my head the support it crave? Now like as a punishment? Found... What? Like as a punishment for them More disappointing a, you? I mean it's a sac it's a sacrifice. I oh, guess, I see. Or, yeah. I see. But I think that I can't remember the last time. Like, I think 24 was maybe the last time I slept at a friend's house because I was too drunk to drive. So I simply slept on his couch. But it was not like a planned thing where I looked at my friend Bradbury and said, and I'll bring my jammies. Like, it's, yeah. I just don't. And I think the reason is not like, oh, it's weird to sleep at a friend's house when you get older. It's like, oh, no, this isn't like fun to get away from my parents and my house. This is like, oh, no. Everything I know is back there. That's where I'm truly me, and I can yeah. take off this mask that I wear for others. Um. Hey, can we approach the wizard? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Thank you. The other don't wizard get too ben, close. He's bitey. The other wizard Ben can't sent this in. Thank you, Ben. Um. This is a this is one that's again very useful to, for me as a sort of like Gen Z. Um, yeah. Here we go. Like yeah. I live on I live and die on like emo- emojis and texts. Not and stuff, me. So. I'm a boomer. I don't get that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So me and my Gen Z friends are gonna love this one. We're gonna bust up super hard. It's is that how you clap- pronounce it? I thought it was just Gens. Gins, me and the fel- me and my fellow Gins uh, are gonna love thirteen clever ways to respond to "What's up?" or "What's up?" Thank you. Ah, that age old question. What's up? <laughs> it's not. The- <laughs> <laughs> it is as old as time itself. What's up? You it's might. Not. What's up? You might have heard it thrown around so often that it's hard to come up with a fresh and creative answer. Yes. In 1999. Uh, Don't worry, though. We've got you covered with tons of examples that show how to have some fun with this common question. Read on and try them out to respond to WhatsApp in a way that will breathe new life into your conversation. Wow. Hey, have you talked to Mark lately? Yeah. It's good. It's good to talk to him now. It feels revitalizing. Yeah. Just the way that his mind works. It really excites me. Well, his responses to my mundane, inane questions are a breath of fresh air in this otherwise empty landscape on which I live. So here's one way to respond to WhatsApp of 13. After seeing you, my mood. 
compliment yeah. anyone yes. who could use compliment anyone who could use an extra boost of confidence. This is a great reply for everyone in your life, from a friend to an acquaintance. It's an ex- especially effective answer if the person is shy or isn't used to the attention. Fuck. Here's yeah. some more examples in this vein. Now that you're talking to me. My happiness. Now, with you, that's with weirder, though, because now that's starting to trend into the way an alien would say it. After oh, seeing you, whole my mood is up. After yeah. this conversation that we had with our mouths, <laughs> my endorphins are <laughs> like, oh, no, no, hold on. Uh, with you in the room, my energy level. <laughs> after after learning you went to Spain, my curiosity <laughs> is up. Uh, another way. Uh, someone hits you with a wasa, you hit him with a, I don't have any complaints. Stay upbeat if you want to charm a stranger with your optimism. If you want to build rapport with someone uh, or leave them with a wonderful first impression, be really cheerful and smile. Other options, I'm a happy camper. Life's been treating me really well. That's a a serial killer response. Darkness, there's a darkness behind those words. No complaints here. Everything's looking up. I've made a lot of progress lately. With what? Mm-hmm. Hey, what you- I think we live in a time, a current, I won't go deep into it, folks, but if you have no complaints, that's yeah. no Why complaints. Are- if no, you can say no, no- zero, nothing but good news on my end, I'm very grateful. All right, asshole. Yeah. There should be, there is objectively bad news out there, and you saying that it doesn't impact you at all is 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 monstrous. And I, hey, listen, there's enough bad news to go around. It doesn't matter <laughs> what side of any issue you're on. Nobody's got it all good right now. How about this? What's up? Hopefully not my rent. Get creative wow. at a party and point out what you don't want to go up. Hopefully <laughs> not <laughs> my dick. <laughs> While people are around, that would be inappropriate. Not the time for that. <laughs> it better not be my cholesterol levels. I've been Whoa. eating healthy, dot, dot, dot. Not my student loans. I just have to keep making my payments. Wow. With any luck, not my grocery bill. I'm not buying name brands anymore. I would turn, heel, and walk away. Just a- and that out person of there. would be gone from my yeah. awareness. Um, in a perfect world, my salary. Make your bestie laugh with a sassy response. That's sad. That is sassy. Yeah. Can I say Ooh. that's sassy? Okay, you know what? Actually, on that one. if I walked up to my best friend, Hank Mardukas, and I said, what's up? And he said, hopefully my salary. I would high five him three yeah, times. For sure. That's sassy and it's fun. a solid response. And Thanks. this, this is the obligatory, uh, what's up? If life was fair, my grades. My I'll energy keep your levels. grades up. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. energy levels, if I had my way. A lot of concern about my energy, about my phaetons. Now, um, I want to go back, though, because I like if life was fair, my yeah. grades, because that means it's like I'm putting in the fucking work and Mr. fucking Johnson is being a real asshole because yeah. I did that assignment. And he knows I did. And yet he's still giving me a C. Life's not fair, man. My Life's atheist teacher gave me an F. <laughs> I think it's because I love our troops so much. Um, how much? T- uh, what's up? How much time do you have? Do nope, not do this no, one. No, don't do that one. Um, can you stick around? It does say play around with anyone easy to fool, like an unsuspecting relative. So it's like punk them by hinting at some deep trouble in your life that you do need assistance with. Can you stick around for a bit? I'll need at least 20 minutes. How long's your attention span? I'm in the mood to overshare. Okay, let me tell you my life story. Just joking. Wow. Hey, Just any kidding. one of those, I actually would appreciate it because it would be shorthand for like, oh, okay, I don't want to know you. I don't right? want to talk to you. I'm going to overshare. Oh, thank you for the warning. I'll be over here at the Cheeto Bowl. And what if it's somebody you know? Like, I've asked you not to be like this. <laughs> yeah. I, we we, incur, we encounter each other in social situations. I, I've asked you not to be like this, I think. It's also think not I've oversharing. Asked not I asked you how you are. And I it, I guess it depends on if you're like, what's up, man? And he's like, oh. It's <laughs> or if you're just like, hey, what's up with you? And he's like, I'm going to overshare. I'm like, yeah, I, I did just ask. Um, what I is would, up with you? I would take literally any response other than this one, number six on the list. What's up? Our time on Earth, so let's make the most of it. What? Oh, no. Shake things up and motivate whoever is talking to you. If they're on autopilot and asking a basic question, see if you can inspire them and tell them to live every moment like it's their last. Don't. What's up? Our chances to waste another moment. Let's go. 
Now that one though is confusing verbiage. What's yeah. up? Our chances to wait. So our, uh, our, we've run uh, out of chances. Some of us are out here barely coping with existential dread as it hey, is. Listen, if yeah, I see I you at a party and I say, what's up? And you're like, our time on earth? I'm in a spiral now. Thank That's you. That's not very actually much. true either. It's like, we're both here. Like, what are you talking about? What do you now, know? That, what pistol, do you know? Matt Damon in that. Kevin Smith movie, and you're like, your time is up on Earth, and then it's yeah. like, mm, that's cool. Okay, yeah, listen, yeah. I mean, if you're so an assassin, Matt Damon gets yeah. a gun out. It's like, fuck. It's like, do you guys remember the Bitcoin commercial where he was like, get Bitcoins, and he pulled out two guns, and I was yeah. like, whoa. I was yeah. like, are you gonna hurt me? And he was like, no, you can just look cool like me, Jason Bourne. These and are my he, new Bitcoins. They're guns. <laughs> um, I need to test something real quick. You guys gotta let me know if this works, okay? Okay. Can you let me know if this works? Yeah. What the? Yeah, I remember like, him. Yeah. I like I liked him from What the? <laughs> That's uh, cool, right? Now, uh, Justin, you res- do you have to comment on it in order for it to be fair use? <laughs> oh, hold on, wait, Travis, you can't talk over that. What was it? Go ahead, Juice. Yo quiero taco bell. Oh yeah, hey, that, wor- what sound that- what are you on? Is it just like classic? Where's commercial- the beef? Okay. Not yeah, these are one. some of the most sort of like <laughs> low quality, you low got, bit dude, rate. You're Dell? <laughs> Do you have the Dell guy? He's funny. What? Do dude, you have the Dell guy? It's got to be in there. No, that's Intel inside. Intel? Yeah, that's not it. Um, okay, so there's a lot more of these. What's okay. up? Who paid you to ask me pizza, that? Pizza. <laughs> I feel like you're not dialed in anymore. All right, Justin. now I'm dialed in. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Pr- pretend to be suspicious to put on a show for your friends. Have the secret agents found me? What have you told them? Hey, that's not cool of you to ask. You know I'm on the run. I'm not sure how to answer that. Do you have a wire on you? Oh my god. That's text a good message? one. Oh my now, text message. If someone asks me at a party, what's up? And I say, Why are you asking? Are you wearing a wire? That is a good way to like kid on the square to gauge if your friend's a narc. Yeah. I just uh, as somebody who has trouble with social situations, yes. especially like these sort of conversational things, I think it should be illegal for the internet to publish a list of memorizable responses yep. to banal questions because that's not that's not right. Like I know I know that is memorizing answers that are supposed to be witty. That's not good. You don't want to do no. that. This that is where yeah. this list should be one thing long and it should be not much you not much that's that it. is okay I'll go ahead and spoil number 13 is not much you which that's, is I think the only acceptable way of that's the that's only it. one it should be how's your day great you what's great. up not much Normal. you hey how was I, your weekend pretty good it should be, like three words max it should be your response to a thing I I I don't want a monologue I right. <laughs> just, I'm a human being who's bad at small talk, and I had to say something because we locked eyes and we're sharing a physical space. Right. And so I said, hey, what's up? That's no, it, the con- sorry, the conceit of this bit is that it's not, that rarely the things that the wizard sends us are good. Yes, but now it's you dipped into a that. thing where I'm imagining myself actually being in uh, my physical meat body and someone saying yeah. one of these things to me and yeah. me having to like roll out of the room as quickly as possible. Okay, like, but Sonic what about this? Maybe you can, maybe this will be better for you guys. Not me, because like I'm a like cool, confident, popular yeah. Yeah, guy. But like junk, yeah. if someone says, what's up? You could say, when you ask that question, my anxiety levels. Yeah, oh, that's see, that's... Just... Okay, can I say... <laughs> There is a delivery you can put on that <laughs> where it would work. I think that one, that one I could that maybe one can sell. Stay. Yeah, yeah, that could work. Yeah, well, don't now the, that you have asked me the, such a banal question, my anxiety <laughs> currently is up now. And then if you really want to, I don't know that these three, they escalate it with each additional one under this suggestion uh, with my blood pressure. What a loaded question. Moving nice. on. Is it um, loaded? No, not at all. Not Yikes. At all. Yikes, my discomfort. That's way too hard to answer. What's up? Oh, well, I didn't explain the test. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, what if someone said, what's up? And you just looked at him like, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That would be a good way of answering it. Loaded That's a- much. 
When I go shopping and I'm buying a bunch of groceries and the checkout person says, oh, plan on a fun weekend because maybe there's like two bottles of wine in there. I, I think a good response now is like, well, not now. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to be thinking about this moment for the rest of the weekend because I'm worried I bought too many, I don't know, hot dogs wrapped in pastry or whatever. And That's now I feel the guilty. same way you overanalyze whenever you buy like, like I get my, I get my, my liquor at CVS. Yeah. And <laughs> like a so classy jet. Yeah. I end up a lot of times getting like liquor and toilet paper or liquor yeah. and um hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> it's like, yeah, these two things, it is going to be a pretty wild weekend. <laughs> it's going to get pretty silly. But then I'm going to bring it down and really think about motivational yeah. quotes from Vince Lombardi. I got this Gatorade all planned out because I, I, your boy is bad with, with <laughs> moderation. Yeah, where do you keep the Pedialyte? To, if I'm, I'm bad with media, bad with moderation, good with preparation. So I went ahead and got me some, some preparation age, some ramen. Uh, hey, can I make it sexy real quick? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. What's up? My hopes because you swiped right on me. Oh uh, no! Nope. Write the good one or which one is the good one? I will never know with enough confidence. Okay, to where yeah. I would um, it. You could also, if you want to keep being really flirty and spark up a romance with a new crush, you can say, my heart rate, now that you're giving me the time of day, my level of attraction, your IG hypnotized me. Whoa. Um, what's what? up? What's up? Imagine, imagine, <laughs> imagine. I can't. My attraction is up. Ah, what's what's up? you see, my lady. <laughs> Like What's other up? humans, I want to say that my attraction is up to you. I'm definitely not a lizard that has gained access to a keyboard. <laughs> What's up? My pulse, your pics, and your bio are so spellbinding. They're in <laughs> front of you. Is that, I mean, is this online? Is that the. These are texts. These are text messages. We're texting now. We're texting. Yeah, we're texting now. We've been texting. Uh, and then there's some uh, asshole responses. Negging. The next two subjects Oof. are all asshole. Um, What's up? The opposite of down. Nice. A two-letter preposition. You're welcome for the grammar lesson. Not that. <laughs> Not too fall wordy. Well. Honestly, go just fall on a well. What's up? A super cute movie that made me cry. Check it out. Is it cute? Okay, that that would be good. I don't <laughs> that know that I would respond. To, I don't. I don't think I would call up a cute movie. Uh, what's up? Come on, you know that the sky. Um, what birds, the beginning part? Birds, planes, and on a good day, UFOs. Is that a good day when they I, finally do? get tired of tolerating us and they come and they zap you know they zap us into dust with their big tripod ships probably not I think you a could do there could be a sincere delivery of come on you know this you can yeah. do this you got this i believe in you you know what's up Doug? Uh, we've gone I'm over this gonna, <laughs> i'm not going to do the rest but the last one is not much not, not much just that's the only correct answer to that question cuz yeah. it's all they're looking for. If they really wanted some, some detail about how you found their picks and bio spellbinding, they would have said like, "What? What do you think? What is it my, about me that's spellbinding?" And... Yeah, exactly. Justin, can you play the beer joke again? What? What the beer jo joke? The beers, the beer, the beer joke from the commercial. Oh, yeah. it's too late now. No, all oh, the moment has passed. Yeah. Well, Dad, you're my dad. And I love you, man. <laughs> that one? That one? Wow. No, what was that? I love you, I love man. you, man. That was not as big of a hit back in the day. I'm out that in the bone yard a little I'm bit. Saying. I'm out in the bone yard a little bit. Yeah. I went to the bathroom at a local grocery store, and I was about to leave my stall, and someone came in crying and started to give themselves a pep talk in the mirror. I don't know if they know mm -hmm. I'm Was in it here, me? <laughs> but I would like to leave. Is it acceptable to go wash my hands next to them as they have their moment? That was from Bathroom Boohoo Buddy. Oh, are boy. You, are you an older person who can provide a sort of sagacious little, little, little bit, little monologue for them? Yeah. Or an older person that can pretend you're them from the future who just came back to tell them that everything is going to work out just fine. Yeah. That one might be tough, depending on like if you look nothing like them at all. At all, you um, don't know what what the future holds, Griffin. Yeah, maybe carry around like a cyber mask with yeah. you everywhere you go, and that's great. You're in the stall, you're in the bathroom, and you hear somebody crying out 
in the sink area, the hand washing zone, and you're like, okay, hold on. And you pull on the sort of like lycra suit and yeah. cyber mask, and then you walk out of the stall like. It helps if you have some like DJ equipment with you, and you can yeah. do like a smoke machine and a light show. And you can be like, contain your moisture. And they're like, whoa, what? And you're like, yeah, I'm you from the future. I'm a robot cyber DJ. I guess if this is the case, you don't have to be an older person. Yeah, anyone could do that. Anyone could be that. With a little, could, with a little forethought, anyone yeah. can do that. And you could say, like, I'm, I am you from the future. I, I do look younger than you, but that's because uh, that's time dilation. So yeah. go, so that, and that's Einstein said that. I feel like if I went out there when they're in the middle of their of their challenging episode, that might be a little too disorienting. Because like. Imagine if one of your favorite podcasters just appeared out of oh, nowhere. Yeah, and it's statistically, like, uh, yeah. Justin McElroy is yeah. in this bathroom, and I'd be like, guilty as charged. Well, that's How can well, I that's help? when you say, well, your friends paid for what we're calling a real life cameo, and <laughs> yeah. so I I'm here waiting for you to come in so I could tell that's you, good. hey man, everything's gonna be okay. And make sure to check out Trolls World Tour. <laughs> I still get We're residuals. Still, Bye. The residuals on that one, baby. You guys would not believe. Do the you buy of that money. on? We're going to need you to buy a physical copy, though. And I know that that's not cool these <laughs> days, but they have them here at the store. I just saw a big display of them by the front. Hey, real life sidebar. If I had known that when you do parts in a movie, Mm -hmm. They keep sending you money for yeah. no reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would have tried to be in movies long ago. We yeah, should make not just no, Don't get it twisted. We're not putting in a hot tub with this. <laughs> this is no, 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 no. money. This is a very small bit of money. But it does come for no reason. For no reason. And it's for no just, reason at all. Just a little surprise letter from our friends at DreamWorks. Hey, hey guys. Does. Here's 20 bucks. People hey, thanks. Wow, 20. Woo! I would love that. Man, if I was getting twenty dollar checks from Trolls World Tour, I'd be I'd be a happy young happy it's young like guy. If you went to babysit and uh, on top of the money they were paying you at babysit, they said, Here's some money to order a pizza if you want, and you're like, Well, hey. And we'll keep yeah. sending you pizza money yes. every few months for no reason yeah. for the rest of your life. It's the closest I've come to that feeling of completing the the paper from Book It to get a free personal pan pizza at Pizza Hut in my adult life. That's what residuals wow, are Trav. to me. What? I don't I'm not sure I understood that reference, which makes me think that none of our listeners. Pizza are Hut Book it. it? You Pizza Hut Book It. You read enough books or get good grades or something, and you get free pizza. Free personal pan pizzas. I think it's a real nice moment for human connection. Some of the times I've had in my life that I've felt like, you know. The, the hand of of any sort of like divine forces or whatever is when I've been there when somebody else is upset. That's great because it doesn't have to be about you for a little bit. You can chill yep. on your own problems. Just be like, hey, let's talk. Let's talk through it if you feel like it. If not, I'm gonna wash my hands. And I'm gonna leave. But right now. I'm an open book, baby. Let's go through it. I'm a stranger. Who better? Yeah. This is actually one of those rare times where pretending like it's not happening is what makes it awkward. Like, if you just walk out and, like, eyes forward, wash your hands and dry your hands, eyes forward, and walk out silently. Yeah. Now, whatever rough time that person's going through, they are both embarrassed and isolated. Where if you come out and, like, hey, you know, you got this, or it, it gets better, or whatever, and then walk or, out, made it. Or... I or, think we all agree or, that being there for someone in their time of need is a very good feeling. So whatever they're giving you from out there in sync zone, you walk out of that stall and you take it, you take it up a level, uh -oh, you escalate. You, your so life there, is worse. If, if, if they're, well, you don't have to say that, obviously, <laughs> that's not the right thing to do. But if they're giving you like, <laughs> you come at them with like, <laughs> <laughs> like, and you're way more really fucked up. Really put in perspective. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then they look at you and they're like, oh, wow, wow, it could be a lot worse. What's going on with you? And then you're going to have to lie and, you know, say like, you know, I uh, I just watched Up uh, on my phone, on the yeah. toilet. You could also just walk out covered in blood <laughs> and say like, oh, no, not again. And that now you've a, distracted them from whatever you do bad. on such short notice, though. Well, with a little bit of preparation, it's right there with your in your bag next to your DJ equipment and your cyber helmet. You're yeah. coming out. Oh, and, oh, what does this situation call for? What are they crying about? Oh, they got fired? Mm -hmm. Is that a blood situation or I'm you from the future? 
Oh, you also rip a big one. And that's a <laughs> that's a bathroom joke that like everyone really can Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a yeah. that uh, Griffin, I actually think that may be the best <laughs> advice is if you just like simulate a gigantic beaver. There yeah. is no time that I've ever heard that in my life that I yeah. have not busted up a hundred percent. Yeah, I was in the Bucky's restroom with uh Henry helping him do his thing when someone made a rude noise. Like- <laughs> someone someone made a rude noise in an adjacent stall and Henry just started laughing. Yeah. And I had to look at him and be like, you can't you can't do that. This is a special place. This is a special place where you yeah. can do that without judgment from five year olds. It's the you, closest you, the everyday person gets to diplomatic immunity. <laughs> yeah. Please. But I think if you do it when someone's crying, they know it's like for their benefit. Yeah. And they'll be like, thank you. Um so that should work too. A lot of great stuff you can do in the bathroom. It's a funny room. A funny <laughs> yeah, we don't room. talk about this enough. Rooms. Why don't more One people make bathroom rooms. jokes? I don't know. Uh, let's take a quick break and then we'll come back with uh, lots more content. Uh, to the money zone. Uh, okay. I guess the money zone is content, right? Yeah. It's all content, baby. It's all content. This is content. Listen, they're paying by the minute. That's all I know. What's to say about Squarespace that hasn't been said before? Huh? Does anyone know? I mean, nothing, but they are continuing to pay us to say the same things again. So let's respect that. Did you guys know, and you might not know this, but there are people out there who don't have websites. Yeah. What? Yeah, can you imagine? Yes. Right? What? Okay. Okay. I, but I'm trying to make it like a, like what? Why would you, because Squarespace helps you build your own website where you can like showcase, you know, your work or like sell things or like blog and publish content, all that stuff. And some people don't do that. Yeah. Why? What are they afraid of? Right? Are they afraid of cyber ghosts? Of course. Of course we all are. But we good news, are. and Squarespace doesn't want me to tell you this, but all their stuff is blessed by cyber priests. Cyber yeah. ghost free, 100% guaranteed, or your money back. There, I said it. I said it. And they Are you going to say any of the other things that they want us to say? No. Add copy, or are you just going to talk mostly about sort of cyber priests? Uh, no, no. Listen, everybody knows about all their cool stuff, right? Member areas where you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free yeah, up yeah. time in your yeah, schedule yeah. by selling access to gated content, like video tutorials and online courses, or like sell your products, or like, you know, you can sell physical or digital products, all that stuff, right? But the yeah. main worry, yeah, cyber ghosts. I do think. I'm not 100% sure that ghosts are the main sort of prey for priests. I have always thought- Cyber priests. Of, yeah, 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 cyber priests. I think that, I feel like like demons and imps are, their, are more their thing, but like if you have a ghost in your house, typically you don't, are you, that's not like priest territory. Oh my territory. God, Griffin, you're like, showing your whole ass on this one. Of course, cyber ghost is a wide branching- like term an umbrella, okay. right? It covers stuff like cyber demons and cyber imps and cyber devils. Griffin, I've warned you multiple times about opening the door to allow Travis to enrich his own mythology. Right. <laughs> like you know, up. you know what you've done. And so it's just a shorthand to say cyber ghosts, and you know what the fuck I'm talking the about. The square Griffin. in the space is a box they put the ghosts in to yes. die. Now, yes. don't open that cyber box. If you open Holy that cyber box, shit. listen, it's a big Twinkie. We all know that, right? It's a big Twinkie. Do not fucking open that cyber box or it's going to get all over the internet and we're going to have to deal with that. Yeah. We're going to have to deal with that, the three of us. So that's Squarespace. I clicked away from the ad copy. So go to squarespace.com. And you've been reading it so diligently <laughs> so far. <laughs> <laughs> Go to squarespace.com. Your laser like focus <laughs> hovered. It wavered for one second or it held. That's- the ghosts, they're getting to me. Um, go to squarespace.com. Let, let, let me see where I was. Cyber ghosts, uh, cyber, <laughs> cyber demons, cyber, cyber ghosts. Okay, I guess I the whole thing. Don't open the box. Big Twinkie. <laughs> uh, right, we'll have to deal yeah. with that. The three of us. Here it is. Okay. Go to squarespace.com slash my brother for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code my brother, all one word, to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Squarespace, free of ghosts since 2019. Do you have werewolves problems? 
<laughs> is that a problem with werewolves or a problem werewolves have? Every time you go out to eat with your family and kids, do werewolves come to try to eat your family and kids? Well, good yeah. news. DoorDash is here, and they aren't scared of monsters, and they will bring food to right to your house. From the restaurants what, you... Yeah. What precautions are they taking to make sure my food makes it to me unmolested by werewolves? They have silver katanas. Every DoorDash, <laughs> every Dasher has a silver katana. Are they trained? Um, uh, no. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> they are not. Um, but they, I mean, more, they're we good. We lose more drivers actually. <laughs> 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 self-inflicted katana. <laughs> That's the thing that uh, the katana industry doesn't want you to know. You're actually more likely to be killed by a katana in your home. <laughs> right. That's what they don't tell you. Um, but they, you know, the hit rate is pretty good. <laughs> uh, so, but hey, summer's in full swing. And the celebration begins during the summer of Dash Pass by DoorDash with weekly members-only offers and new items released every week. You can shine bright and feel cool all season long. As skate grinders grind the virtual rails right to your door, katana in hand, and also a bag of medicine from CBS. I bet they were listening to the first half of that ad, wondering how you were going to seamlessly get got that pass. They got zero delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 members only offers nationwide. Dash Pass by DoorDash has everything you need to make your summer memorable. Uh, we, Griffin, we I have a quick of, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to sort of like yeah. give a personal testimony but about happens? why. I, yeah, yeah. They no, you're right, Travis. Whatever <laughs> you're about to say is more important than yes, the personal you. testimony I was about to deliver for the company that has paid us money to deliver such a personal testimony. What on our podcast? Go ahead, Travis, with your question. What happens if the Doordasher fails to fend off the werewolf? The werewolf kills the Doordasher and then appears at my home. Yeah. pretending to be the door dasher. What do I well, do? Well, let then? me say first of all, the stuff still gets to my house. That's true. DoorDash, they will always deliver even if they have been horrifically mauled by uh, a werewolf. Yeah. Um it's they it's have personally, spent... if I might give a personal testimony, it's yeah, why yeah. I like the leave it at the door option yes. so that even if it is a werewolf, I'm like, okay, just leave it there. Okay, yes. I'll get it when you drive away or you know leap over the fence and run off howling into the night. And he's like, are yeah. you sure? And I'm like, yeah, just leave it there, please. I got dogs and I don't want to open the door and COVID's right. still a concern. Okay, so my testimony, it's good. It's good. DoorDash is good and I use it all of the time for all of my, my kitchen is packed up now. DoorDash has been bringing me to delicious Austin treats. Uh, uh, basically every night for the past few nights, and I, I, I do appreciate it. Give 50% off your first order up to a $15 value. Use promo code MABIMBAM at checkout when you spend $12 or more. That's 50% off your first order up to a $15 value when you sign up for DoorDash during Summer of Dash Pass using promo code MABIMBAM. Again, that's code M-B-M-B-A-M for 50% off your first order. Dash Pass benefits only on eligible orders that meet the minimum subtotal terms apply doordash wear food their food i don't think that's gonna what about make it in the, wear I don't food think that's gonna, hear food i don't think that's gonna make it in the episode ah uh, damn it in the briefest time i feel like we got to know each other bro i appreciate you so much for that do you read minds or what it's really a very sacred space you've created here <laughs> bullseye! You've hit the bullseye, baby! Bullseye! Interviews with creators you love and creators you need to know. From MaximumFun.org and NPR. Hey! Did grad school ruin your reading habits? Oh my god, all those books you had to read for grad school? Did becoming a parent destroy your ability to focus on a book? Did the pandemic tank the number of novels you can get through in a year? Ugh, that happened to everyone, and we're Reading Glasses, and we're here to help. We'll get you out of a book slump, dismantle all that weird reader guilt. Which we know you have a lot of, but most importantly, we'll help you fall back in love with reading. Reading Glasses, every Thursday on Maximum Fun. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. 
Okay. I want a munch. I want to munch. Welcome to Munch Squad's podcast within podcast profiling the latest greatest brand eating. KFC released finger sporks, and I'm not going to talk about it. Please? Will you please? At least to tell me what it is. It's a spork. It goes on your finger. To encourage you to make all their food finger looking good, now you can eat your corn with a finger spork. Does this? Does the spork? And I don't want to talk about it anymore. No, no, no. But I do what? want to talk about it. So, does the spoon come up from the finger, or do you like where? Do you scoop like you this, wear or do you it scoop on your like... finger? Right, but are you talking? You can about wear it hook? either way, Griffin. It's not. I don't. I can't imagine that it's like an intricate mouth. Can I put process. on five finger sporks and then just pick up my tail yeah. like can that you... and just go blah 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 blah. Yep. Okay, yeah, cool. It, it's all good stuff. It's all good. It's like, you know, just like finger licking. It's great. just if you didn't want to talk about it, I don't know why you would. I'm just admit. telling you that because I'm tired of people trying to bait me yeah. with these like, like anybody could do a hilarious run about that. Like You know what I mean? Like anybody. We just did like three of them. We just did great. And I, I'm really torn though between these two stories because one's wilder, but one, okay, we're going to talk about, about Subway. Subway has launched its most significant menu change in 57 years. Okay. It's the Subway series. Okay. Doesn't sound that significant yet. Okay. So here's what they've done. Have they made their shops not stink like the worst <laughs> stink you've Are ever seen? Are they stink? done ruining combination gas stations and subways? <laughs> It's the biggest menu update in the entire history of the franchise. It tested hundreds of recipes to come up with the Subway series, 12 new signature sandwiches that can be ordered by name or by number. Wow. It's a whole new way to Subway. Yeah, they're stealing it from Jimmy John's 10 years listen, ago. Listen, this is going to absolutely freak you out, but you can okay. now walk into a Subway and say the name of a sandwich, and they'll just give it to you. No wow. problem. At, you know how, how did it work before? At at the before, you had to be like, okay, so take some yeast and sugar and flour and mix <laughs> it up, and then wait. I don't know. But now that's the you know how it's always you've left a subway feeling like you just did like long form algebra and you're like why was that so tough why did they make yeah. it so hard why yeah. did I have to make eye contact with the person as their hand hovered over the say, vegetables and I said no no <laughs> now you could just say like give me give me the boss yeah I can just throw myself through the front window of the subway and tuck and roll and just yell eight. Give me the great garlic. They say here the series lineup isn't a swap in ordering options. Customers can still walk the line and customize their own choices. Hell yeah. So in case you were worried that they would say no, you have to have lettuce or you'll go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. You still can get it without lettuce. In tests, the brand found the series to be easier for guests and employees. No. Qu- this is a quote. In fact, in Fort Myers, after just a few weeks, the franchisee reported guests were coming in and ordering the Subway series by number or asking the great garlic by name. Imagine if after just a few weeks, people relented to this new Subway system and f- said, fine, I'll just have a great, <laughs> a great garlic and I won't try to make it my way. I just want to say, as I worked at a Jimmy John's where this is the system, you have the numbers and you have the names, what you are now doing is requiring, let's just say it, like underpay, everybody in this country is underpaid at this point, underpaid sandwich makers, like having to memorize, artists, thank you, memorize, and hey, thank you, artists. And you know what you're doing? You're making it sandwich by number. You're taking away the artistry. Thank you. And you're saying you have to fucking memorize the name so that when I say like, give me, I don't know, the (laughs) the big meaty boy, and they're like, oh, what's on that? What else? The boss. What what, what, is what you meant to say. Sure, give me the boss. I I don't think I'm gonna go into Subway and order the Mexicali. I don't think I will. I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll just order whatever I feel like. And then if you want to put a label on it, yeah. you go for it. You call it the Justin if you need to. Well, I just okay. know if I commission something from an artist, 
Yeah. I just say, like, I, I want a landscape, right? And I let them do it. I'm not going to say, like, hey, this is what I want it to look like exactly, right? Then that, That's not art. That's yeah. That's not art. I'm not the artist. You are. Like, You're the you artist. make this. As long as it looks like a car just drove over it, then it's yeah. the Subway sandwich that what I they know should, and love. Here's a revolution. Here's what you do, Subway. I'm going to fill out a questionnaire that has nothing to do with sandwich toppings. Then the artist is going to read through that and get a vibe from me personally. He'll be like, oh, yes. Travis likes, uh, you know, a cool fall day. I know exactly what kind of sandwich he wants. Surprise me. Yeah. Like a mixologist. Surprise yeah. me. A simple hundred question questionnaire. Yeah. <laughs> That I, I answer it, and then you give me the sub uh, sandwich of my dreams. Okay. Filled out days in advance. And I'm going to come in on Thursday, so I'm going to fill out this questionnaire on Monday to give you some time. An incredibly inappropriately intrusive 100-question questionnaire. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's very... Why do you I, need to know my sexual history in order to make me a roast of beef? I'm actually sorry, but I do need to... It's been too long since I've done a Munch Squad, and I need to tell you about this other one, too. It's okay. Hardee's, yeah. and it is maybe... This may be the worst, laziest, terrible promotion I've ever heard of Ooh. in my life. Hardee's is partnering with NASCAR legend Richard Petty to promote Chicken Platform. What? To promote Chicken Platform. <laughs> to promote Chicken Platform. Hardee's is collaborating with one of the hottest drivers in history. <laughs> okay. Sexy as fuck. <laughs> Let me see that. Fucking also, let me check out old Richard Petty. Let me check out old Dick Petty. One of his most popular menu offerings, the hand breaded chicken platform. That can't be this the name month. Of it. NASCAR Hall of Famer, seven time NASCAR champion. Come on, say it with me, guys. You know it. Seven time Daytona 500 winner and devoted Hardy's fan, Richard Petty, will be in his home state of North Carolina to give consumers the bird, oh, boy. surprising restaurant goers with hand breaded chicken sandwiches. What is chicken platform? Oh, it's a chicken platform. You know, hand breaded chicken platform. No, like, but it's the it's the idea of hand breaded chicken sandwiches. I think so okay. like a platform, like a political platform, or like mm -hmm. some planks it's, of wood. It's actually closer to that than you would think, Trav. Yeah, I think Hardy Hardy. Her, where's my Where's my dick pet? Hardy's has always had a special place in my heart because it feels like a bite of home. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> this seems like an uh, apropos moment to reveal I live in a hearty snap. <laughs> <laughs> I live in a giant chicken like that it's James long, fellow, <laughs> except instead of a beach, you see. I live in an assisted living hearties. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they vroom, help vroom. me with my dressings and some of my various household tasks, and they keep me absolutely slathering at hand-breaded chicken platform. I'm pretty sure that Hardee's could be more accurately qualified as a, a sort of hospice facility. Uh, <laughs> hospice! Um, <laughs> I, have, I have been a true fan of Hardee's, not like some of these fake Hardee's girls you'll hear about. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, you team. like Hardee's, huh? Name uh, yeah. three Name four Hardee's members of the chicken <laughs> platform. Teaming up to celebrate this delicious hand-breaded chicken sandwich is a real treat for me. Plus, I'm looking forward to joining Hardee's. I'm in giving the bird a whole new meaning and surprising some deserving fans here in North Carolina this summer. Plus, they said I could have a free sandwich. Petty is popping up at a Hardee's location in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. There can't be more than 30. Uh, to give eligible guests a surprise hand delivery when they... What makes you ineligible to get Richard Petty to hand deliver you a sandwich? Oh, I don't eat chicken. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, <laughs> my bad. Ugh. The hand-breaded chicken platform launched last summer in the midst of the chicken wars and featured the... Which, the fact that they're using the past tense means that there was an armistice declared that I am not familiar with. As far as I know, these wars are still raging out there. Uh... Uh, the, this summer, these three craveable builds are back in the spotlight and are the ultimate cluck bait. Nope. The ultimate what? The ultimate cluck bait. Cluck bait. It's what like is it? It's, it's like click bait? No, oh. it's like cuck bait. <laughs> I don't think that's it, <laughs> no, Justin. I think, I think, tra I think Travis might actually be right on this one. Each big, juicy, and crispy piece of 100 premium white meat chicken is hand breaded on site and now it comes with a very small percentage chance that Richard Penny will give it to you I guess <laughs>
I it's just Richard Petty has been a fan favorite for years and has always brought that extra flavor to the track like no one else can, just like our hand breaded chicken. You what? know what? That's it not... brings extra flavor to the track. I've you lost know. my way. Yeah, listen, I know I kind of I kind of rambled on there at the end, but you basically get what I was going for. We really value the authenticity of this partnership because Petty is an organic fan. Yeah. Like, not like not some like, Biebers. Not like. <laughs> it's just what they're saying to you now is the, uh, this announcement is that if you order the chicken sandwich platform. Yeah. Through the app or the drive through Maybe Richard Petty will give it to you. Oh, guys. Which is not a chance that I'd allow for yet, but like, I guess I do always kind of assume that maybe Richard Petty will hand my food to me. Right. And wouldn't that, be, wouldn't that be an amazing turn, though, if this time Richard Petty is helping the person in the vehicle? He's your chicken pit crew. This time, he's oh, never okay. been on that side before. He's always yeah. been the one in, because I assume now part of the pit crew duties for Richard Petty was handing him a chicken sandwich from Hardy's every time he stopped in yeah. every race. I this think is, that Hardy's is trying to throw shade at the KFC Jack Harlow collab yeah. by saying, oh, it's not real shit. Like what us and Dick have is real. What right. this is He's real. He's a real American. I feel like this is a bad campaign because the very last thing that I want is to be at a, a chicken platform restaurant and order some food and then a celebrity that I do not know who it is, yep. hands it to me and yeah. gives me a knowing smile like, vroom, vroom, order up. And I'll be like, <laughs> thank you, okay. mustache. Thank you, mustache gentleman. Thank you, 85-year-old Hardy's employee. <laughs> Very much appreciate it. I like your hat. I didn't know that I that like was. your hat, too. Uh, yeah. What's I, your I, name? Let me check out your name tag, as I always do, because I'm a father of two. Richard. Yeah. Thank you very much, Richard. I appreciate uh, uh, you. Because my brain would, honest to God, kick into. He's looking at me pretty hard. Does he listen to my brother, my brother, and me? This is the thing. This is the. This is. <laughs> when they say eligible guests, I think they are talking about like checking the date on your driver's license because Richard Petty has. I looked it up real quick. He is an 85 year old man that has not driven professionally for 30 years. His oh. last ride, it was in 1992. Two professionally. Okay. The, the Wikipedia says he was in his twilight years as of 1980. Like huh. you have, you have to. As they're coming through, like, and one other question, no reason, but do you know who <laughs> Richard Petty <laughs> is? On okay, site? go on in, go on in, <laughs> go on. In. Yeah, on site though, do you know Richard Petty? If, if you, you saw just, this man, would you recognize him? They hold him a picture, like a headshot. He's shot? just he's standing back in the kitchen, just holding the bag, just like looking, like, is it? Is it? Do they know me? No. Okay. Oh, okay. I listen. This is hey Richard. Why are you waiting? If you could sleep up back there, that would be, great. would be great. Our pop culture is increasingly stratified. We have no monoculture to hold us together anymore. Right. I I have the narrowest possible sliver of celebrity. More people would know me as the guy who uploaded the berries and cream sound than for my entire professional career. You would have to. Like, bring in the people that it would be exciting for me. There's like 30 people that would be excited at a Hardee's to have me behind the, behind the drive thru. Yeah. Um, I'm not against that, though. If somebody I'm wants to either. fly some people out to be excited by the three of us handing them a sandwich, uh, yeah, I'd do it. Yeah, Party right. Hardee's with the McElroy brothers, and there you can is. have that, Hardee's. You can That's use that for free. I mean, it will. I mean, I will no, I want to get paid. like six figures, but yeah, sure. For, for the idea is free. The execution is will be quite expensive. Hey, Justin, will you read this third question real quick? Because I think that we can nail it down really fast. Oh, okay, sure. I collect VHS tapes. Not too long ago, I acquired a big bad Beetleborgs VHS tape that did not have a case. Needless to say, I rushed home to watch the tape, but when it started, it had a message that ran across the top of the screen saying that it was a preview copy. And if I purchase this tape, I need to call the number on the screen to report it to Fox Video. My question is, am I good? Do I need to report this? Has too much time passed? If I do report it, will they take this tape from me? That's from Mystified in Mississippi. You can't report uh, it. You, no, in fact, don't you should, report you it. You need to hide it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's con that's contraband. Yeah. They won't take the tape from you. They will take you from your home. Yeah. And you will not be seen again. You you um, you know too much. You know the uncorrected <laughs> Big Bad Beetleborgs episode. So like before they edited it out, 
all the racy stuff. Like you yeah. can't, you can't be allowed and by to racy, share this. You mean r- racist? Because yeah. the genie character was oh, way God. more explicitly problematic and, yeah. ch- and challenging in the original cut. Um, yeah. And also, can I just say now you've implicated us in this? You put us at risk, and now we're going to have to go. If yeah, I, we're going to mean we're going to have to go on tour just to uh, till the heat dies down. At this point, where, That's where what, should we go, Trav? Oh, that's such a good question. I was thinking maybe like Salt Lake City. They'll never look for us there. Uh, and then to Portland. And then we can blend in with I'm as people. surprised to find us there as anybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm as surprised to find us there as anyone. San Diego Comic-Con would be a good place to blend in. We'll do some Deadpool cosplay. No one will ever find us. Uh, that uh, Well, unless you buy tickets at, you know, macro.family or you go to bit.ly slash macro tours. Then you might be able to find us at those places. Only uh, Salt Lake City is, a, like, I guess the only place they could really nab us, because that's the only show that's not sold out. Mm. Um, thank you, Portland we're and back, San Diego. Baby. We're back, <laughs> Yay! Uh, November, we're also going to be in my new hometown of Washington, D.C., Detroit, and Cincinnati. My hometown. Justin, you've my- got to move to Detroit real quick. You can Please. move back. Uh, if you have they questions- have me there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not after the it. Star Wars thing. Um, email us questions at uh, mbmbam at maximumfun.org with the city of the tour stop in the subject line so we can uh, build up those question lists. You got to wear a mask and have proof of full vaccination or a negative COVID test within 72 hours of the event. Start if you want if you want to ride with me Oh, uh, at these shows. Yeah, no scrubs. Um, and a reminder with Griffin Moving, we're going to have a, a couple of live episodes in a row there while he gets settled in and can set up equipment and all that stuff. Please understand. Yeah, please, please, understand. please your understanding is needed, please. Uh, um, over at the merch store, we got the Approach to the Wizard shirt designed by Dana Wagner, and 10% of all merch proceeds this month go to the Trans Youth Equality Foundation. Uh, you can find all that stuff at macroymerch.com, and pre-orders for Taz 11th Hour are now open. It comes out February 21st, 2023. Go to theadventurezonecomic.com to pre-order. Thank you to Montaigne for the use of our theme song, My Life is Better With You. Uh, it's a track that will get that b- booty slapping. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Uh, it's also uh, worth noting, we're going to be doing some uh, panels and stuff as well at San Diego Comic-Con. I know Dad and I are doing one Sunday morning at 10 a.m. all about uh, like influencing the next generation of nerds. And that's going to be with uh, Bria Ingar and B. Dave Walters and Johnny Stanton. It's going to be super fun and very, uh, I don't know, good. And you'll like it. Or else, uh, we'll fun tweet out those. Loca- yeah, fun and good. We'll tweet out those locations and post the schedule and everything, so you can find us at all those. Because we're doing a Taz panel too. It's going to be great. We'll see you there. Oh my gosh! Um, I've been working it. on my James Spader impression, and I would love to try it out if I could. I mean, we can go Ant versus Ant, Spader versus Spader, and Justin can be Justin can be in. Oh, that'd uh, be great. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One issue yeah. is I don't know who that is. Oh, James uh, Spader. Yeah, so the, my impression will be based largely off of whatever you do, <laughs> okay. Travis. So. Okay, okay. Let me let me let me zone in. I do. Uh, wait, you don't know who James Spader is? I know the name. Is that a? Is it's that Boston Cyclops? Legal? No, Boston oh. Legal. No, okay. James. Ha- okay, you're thinking James Mars. Okay, this does get confusing. Okay, yes, let's thank talk you. about it real quick. Okay, James Marsters foot uh-huh. guy. Yeah, James Marsden, Sonic's friend, and as, and 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 maybe potential foot guy. <laughs> we, tell him, we cannot confirm or deny. <laughs> James Harden, famously bearded basketball Correct. player. It gets yes. confi- I, James I Spader. Agree. None of those. Three. None of those. <laughs> he okay. was this he was a weird boss. Weird yeah. boss on The Office. He was. Don't uh, tell me who it is. Okay. Oh, uh, that's the deal. Either you take it or you leave it. And let me try it now. Okay. okay. I said I'm the weird boss on this show. I don't know which one. And, and, and cr- you, you're going to listen. You're going to listen to me now, James Spader. Now, now tell him I'm going to put you on my blacklist. I'm going to put you. Oh, is that who it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. God, I love blacklists. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, uh, now, now. Uh, now I'm gonna put you on my blacklist. You got it. You're like you you're have in creamed there, into gold blue. You're, in the you're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, there, well. it's surprisingly close. Yeah, is it surprisingly close? Yeah, there's a thin barrier between Spader and Gold Blue. My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother. Me <laughs> kiss your dad square on the lips.
MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.